Hey everybody, it's Lavender Town. And today I'm continuing my ongoing series where I turn random stuff into cute girls and boys. Last week we did four signs of the zodiac and today we are going to add four more to our pantheon. The first sign I want to start with is Aries. Now Aries is a fire sign and as is typical of all the fire signs, she is associated with a more energetic personality, but particular to Aries is this sort of courageous confidence and this um, overwhelming outgoingness. It's more of a social fire sign. So with all that in mind, I tried to give her a open and confident looking pose. It's almost sort of pin up -y, like she really wants you to look at her. In contrast to her pose though, I wanted her clothes to look not overly fancy and certainly not uncomfortable. I saw in multiple places that Aries were associated with comfortable clothes, but also that they're very confident and um, fashionable. So basically, I wanted to make her look like um, kind of kind of like she's like a professional Twitch streamer, you know, where um, they look really comfortable, but you can tell that their clothes are like very nice. Um, so that's sort of what I went with. I gave her like a soft bralette and a uh, oversized sweatshirt that's hanging off one shoulder. Um, I just thought that would look really cute. And then I gave her some nice little boots. I was trying to emulate the Ram. Um, throughout various parts of her outfit, which also led to me adding these sort of stylized horns on top of her head, as well as informing some of my color choices later on. Um, and I had to do that because she's really only associated with one color, and that's red, so I had to be a little more creative when it came to coming up with a color palette for her um, because she didn't have so many that was associated with her whole her whole zodiac deal. Um, I tried to make the boots look a little bit like she has cloven feet, so I did sort of a cutoff at the toe. Um, I don't know if that necessarily communicates, but uh, I liked how they turned out anyway. And I gave her um, some ribbed uh, knee socks again because I feel like those sort of walk the line between very fashionable and very comfy looking as well. Aries isn't particularly associated with the color brown, but I ended up using it a lot because, again, of the ram, and I thought it would help complement her more bright and vibrant red hair um, with these crazy pink tips. I ended up making them more peachy so it didn't clash too much. She was looking like a Valentine's Day um, disaster. And I gave her a little tattoo on the shoulder. I just thought that would look really cute with her exposed shoulder. And I gave her sort of a general purpley blue shade um, because I realized I was doing so much overlay stuff at the end that having a lot of different shading colors wasn't really mattering that much because I was messing with it so much later on which I'm really glad I started doing in the first Zodiac video because there are so many bright and vibrant colors associated with the different signs that doing these sort of ethereal overlays at the end really helps them look cohesive despite their wildly different color palettes. I put the constellation for Aries behind her and with that, she is done. All she needs is a name, so if you can think of a good one, please let me know. And as for the names I picked from last week's video, they are... Aura for Taurus, Coral for Pisces, Lazarus for Leo, and Jamie for Gemini. Thank you guys so much for your awesome name suggestions. Next up is Cancer, and if there's any truth to the zodiac signs having some sort of consistent personality type when it comes to people, I would say that Cancer is the sign I get along with the best. Both my little sister, who's one of my best friends, and my current partner are cancer signs, and I just find that they're some of the easiest people for me to hang out with and get along with. Um, so I don't know if that's a coincidence or if uh, Zodiac stuff is all true and I should be following it religiously, um, but either way, uh, that's just something I've noticed. So according to all the websites I've been looking at, Cancer is associated with being sort of domestic and really valuing family. Um, and they're also a sympathetic, imaginative, and tenacious personality type. They are associated with the crab, which is one of the main things that I'm going to be focusing on in this design. And honestly, I think that uh, using parts of crabs in the design made for a very cute and interesting looking character because I'm sort of combining this um, borderline 1950s housewife sort of aesthetic with the uh, sharpness and claws of a crab, which turned into... She kind of looks like a cute little alien. I, I don't know. Um, I gave her the crab eye stalks antennae kind of thing on the top of her head, which definitely makes her look a little bit like an alien. And then there's sort of a sci-fi look because of the scalloped crab claw shapes um, I put all over her little dress. 
As for her coloring, the color associated with Cancer Sign is white, so I also decided to add in some accent colors of like crab pink salmon y colors, and I think it turned out extremely cute though. I think it made her look even more like an alien somehow. Um, and of course, I put the sign of Cancer into one of her eyes, as I've been doing with all of these character designs. It looks kind of extra creepy because it has, um, it almost reminds me of like a sheep eye, uh, and it's so like crookedy. Um, but but I actually love how this one turned out. I feel like she's in sli a slightly different style than all the other ones I drew though, which kind of bothers me. I feel like her head is a little too big. She's a little bit more, um, I guess like chibi style than the rest of the uh, characters. Um, so that bothers me a little bit. But um, when I'm just looking at her on her own, I think she's one of my favorites. I tried to give her short hair to be more practical, and then she was done. I also made some last minute changes in her eye, which I didn't record. Next up is Libra, and according to all the sites I've visited, Libras are mainly associated with a desire for balance, symmetry, and fairness, and that makes sense as Libras are also associated with the scale. Libras are ruled by Venus, which means that they are evidently good romantic partners as well as very fond of expensive, fine things. So I wanted this character to look like someone very fashionable and put together, and like someone who would be likely to buy something expensive and designer. So that's kind of what I was going with here. Um, sort of a young, fashionable, uh, expensive taste kind of person. Um, and honestly, I wasn't really sure if I wanted this character to be a guy or a girl. Um, so I kind of cut it both ways and made it this sort of uh, fashionable androgynous sort of character. Um, I thought that would be cool to do as I had been doing primarily either pretty feminine girls or pretty masculine guys. Um, it would be cool to have at least one character who's pretty androgynous and since Libra is all about balance and symmetry, I thought that might be a perfect chance to do that. The two main colors associated with Libra are pink and green, just like Taurus, um, but instead of uh, Taurus's more earthy attempt at those colors, I decided to go with more of a gentle pastel because again, that reminds me more of like a designer feel. And then I did a very strong hot pink um, or reddish glasses because I feel like, again, that would that looks more high fashion to me. If I have one complaint about this particular picture, it's that I feel like the cross legs look a little bit strange. I drew the whole thing symmetrically, um, inking only on one side and then repeating on the other side. Um, and I think that made me lose track sort of of where this character's hip should be. I don't think it's a total mess, but I do wish I had fiddled with it a little bit more before I moved on to um, the inking stage. But other than that, I actually really like the design of this character. And as these are character design videos, I guess that's more important than the uh, illustration itself. I'm thinking maybe at the end of this Zodiac series, since there's so many characters, it would be cool to do a final illustration with all of the signs together interacting with each other. So hopefully I'll find the uh, time to do that. And with that, they are done. Last up is Virgo, our earth sign for the video. Now Virgo is associated with the virgin and um, innocence and purity in all of its forms, which is really interesting as a primary characteristic. One of the things I realized is that not every sign is associated with an animal. Sometimes it's just associated with random stuff like a scale or uh, the broader concept of being a virgin. Um, so with Virgo, my main um, sort of focus was to make a sort of young, cute, princessy sort of character. Um, Virgos are also associated with being interested in um, keeping things very orderly. Uh, they can be picky or uptight as some of their negative features, so I thought that with all of these traits together, um, the character that was coming to mind was sort of this slightly spoiled, uh, sheltered, and very adorable little girl character. Um, so for Virgo, I wanted her to basically look like a little Victorian um, daughter of like some kind of rich uh, oil baron or something. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I just wanted her to look a little pampered and like I said, yes, very princessy. So I put a lot of frills on her. I gave her a little rosy flower crown. And when I looked at the colors that are associated with Virgo, I knew I was going to have a bit of a hard time. The colors associated with Virgo are gray, beige, and pale yellow, which I think could also just be a list of my least favorite colors. Um, so I tried to make it 
it work by using a sort of pinkish gray um, and then I tried to put the beigey color into her roses to make them look sort of dusty uh, and old and ornate um, which sort of led into my whole desire to make her look uh, antique and princessy and like a little doll and in the end I actually really like the color palette so it just goes to show that you shouldn't you shouldn't judge a palette before you've gotten to uh, experiment with it a little. Um, her gray dress didn't look too dour or anything because I added so much bows and frills and stuff so I think it still looks kind of cute. And in the end, Virgo ended up being one of my favorites um, even though like I said that color palette made me really worried. So here are all the new additions to the Zodiac character design series. The next video will have the last Zodiac signs, so if your sign hasn't been covered in this video or the previous one, it will definitely be in the next one. Um, if you have any good names for these characters, like I said, leave them below and I will select my favorites in the next video. And until then, thank you so much for watching till the end and I will see you next time. Big thank you to all of my patrons, including Bella Story, Cal Pompon, Cassitarius, Clockwork Construct, Dionysus, Hagarillus, Dr. Casket, Elizabeth Alvin, Hope Chilsom, Imagine Creation, JJJ, Joseph Copel, Carla Tapia, Cat Did That, Q Did It, Megan Claire, Midnight Doodles, Mycodactyl, Okamore, Ollie, Rome Espinoza, Rosie Warlock, Sergeant Pendulum, The Artsy Moose, Your Boy ST, and Zoe Stardust. <laughs>